how does the, you know, your body really attacking itself, um, how does that play into self-care, self-love, and, you know, just really loving yourself? I feel like my body is always attacking me. And I have really bad survivor's guilt. So I was diagnosed with my first cancer September 11th, 1996. So my five year anniversary is September 11th, 2001. And every year on September 11th, my whole world relives the moment that changed the world. I have to kind of like deal with that impact of, wait, my body attacked me and then five years later, the United States was attacked. I feel badly because I feel like, why did I get this gift? Mm -hmm. and, and why am I still alive? And why does my body keep doing these crazy things to it? Because, I mean, I know I, I can deal better now with the after effects and all of the secondary effects because I know that my original treatments are really what caused my body to go, <laughs> whatever, we're going to just make it go wild and crazy. It's not my body attacking me, but at the, in the beginning it was. I went through some really serious challenges with mm -hmm. how, why did my body do this? Why does, is it not understanding my needs? Why does it not understand that I have this greater purpose that I think I have? And even though I didn't, I, I, I don't know, it's weird. I always felt like I had this big thing to do. I've just been on the space of um, eating more of a pescatarian, leaning towards a raw diet doing what I have to do to get my body together, my mind, my body, my spirit. And I just believe that I'm healed and I'm whole. I definitely have seen changes and I refuse to accept it. And I, I cause I know where it puts you And I literally just came out of my first ever season of battling with depression because mm -hmm. of grief. I have come back to an awareness of who I am and the greater mission that I was born to do, and that's what we are doing in so powerful. sharing our story.